That's the that's what that's your impression of me. You were a fan of me for ten years, and you think that I would say, "Well, what if the workers voted to give themselves a million dollar raise?" <laughs> It's a holdover from his libertarianism. Uh, what if the- <sighs> I'm never gonna talk to him again. I wish he would just like, I wish I could have like a two minute conversation. Like, can you respond to some actual arguments in good faith instead of this ridiculously shitty straw man? Maybe Fuck we'll be. hands are cold. God damn it. <laughs> oh wait, they're coming. <laughs> Here's the silver bullet. Vouch says he doesn't consume my content anymore. Anybody care to explain this picture? Okay, good luck. Hold on. Also, something Destiny mentioned was that some workers might not vote to increase their workload in favor of some marginal benefit to other workers. They might vote and increase their pay without regard for other workers. Oh my god! He's gonna respond to one of my arguments! Oh! Vosh moment! Oh my god! Oh! I'm so excited! Oh my god! Vosh is actually gonna have to engage with something I've said before. Good job, chatter. All right. Let's hear it. Here we go, guys. Well, then it's a wonderful thing that we have actual existing co-ops. I don't, what, 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 what is this? What is this idealism? Uh, listen, I'm a dialectical materialist, okay? We have existing worker cooperatives, okay? The issue is, here's, here's the fact of the matter, okay? Um, Destiny, like a lot of liberals, thinks the average worker is like a dumbass, okay? It is, it's the same contemptuous classist disregard. It's not contemptuous. Oh, he's not going to engage with it. God damn it. It's not contemptuous. It's factual. A lot of people that are working class don't have the time to read up on dialectical materialism. Oh, well, I'm going to tell you the optimal way to run, right? A lot of people just want to go to work. They want to do their job and then they want to go home. That's it. They don't give a fuck. They don't, they don't want to sit there and be involved in the intricacies of the work. Like a lot of people just want to go do their shit, get paid. And then they want to go out Friday, Saturday, go home, spend time with their families. That's what most people want. Guard for them. Uh, that, that uh, like um, the aristocrats had for the peasantry ye back in the day. It's a holdover from his libertarianism. Uh, what if the workers were just really stupid? What if they all voted to make their salary a million billion? It's not about, no, my thing is the exact opposite. It's not about workers being stupid at all. It's about workers voting in their self-interest, which I don't think is unfair to say that a worker might vote in his own self-interest. I don't think that's insane. It has nothing to do with being stupid dollars and then the next day they ran out of money and had to default well we have co-ops and those things don't tend to happen idiot jesus and it's not as though traditional corporations don't constantly fuck themselves over but like gee, like well if you put the workers in charge there's no reason to believe that putting the workers in charge would then vote on a manager to like centralize decisions in a firm or whatever would then like be a colossal idiot there are managers in existence right now in traditional corporations who are colossal idiots who do fuck over the entire corporation. I'm sure that will continue to happen sometimes in worker cooperatives, but I don't think it's there's any reason to believe it would happen more often. Evidence suggests it happens less often because co-ops tend to be a little bit better at weathering economic crises, which are the real like testing period for businesses. How res Yeah, but first of all, like that might be because of a whole bunch of other reasons, like the difficulty in starting a co-op. It wouldn't surprise me if that was the case because people that start co-ops probably overwhelmingly wealthy or can absorb a lot more risk. Um, I'm never going to talk to him again. I wish he would just like, I wish I could have like a two minute conversation. Like, can you respond to some actual arguments in good faith instead of this ridiculously shitty straw manning of like pretending that my positions are so abs absurd and so stupid? But whatever. Bro, how do you power your other planets? It's all... Hopefully, as these pick up, maybe it'll get a little bit better, I guess. We'll see. Resilient are they, you know? If, if these are the qualities of, like, the good faith intellectual challenges that he's, like, throwing at me these days, then holy fuck, you know? Why is he, like, do, do you think the smile here is insecurity? Does that really sound like something I would say? Like, what, like, that's the, that's what, that's your impression of me. You were a fan of me for 10 years, and you think that I would say, well, what if the workers voted to give themselves a million dollar raise? <laughs> that's what you think that my assertion would be there? That's, like, the good faith analysis of, like, okay, dude. Yeah, it's so it's it's an indication of being so desperate 
He's so desperate for your content, he went over the ethics of drowning video on a Vosh clip channel today. Jesus Christ. He People who say there's a mutual obsession, doesn't he literally spend, like, hours on a stream going over my shit? Like, every single time he comes up in my stream, it's because somebody in chat says something, or, or brings up something, or, like, someone donates or whatever. I'm pretty sure he independently seeks out hours of content to view. Hours. And he's so desperate for my attention, and so I'm in so need desperate. of things to criticize. That he's out here criticizing worker co-ops for things for which there is empirical evidence that don't happen. Empirical you know? data. Um, yeah, it's like stalker shit. It's really fucking weird, you know? I'm a stalker. Um, <laughs> this other political commentator that comments on my shit is stalking me. Please make him stop. Please. I just want to say things unchallenged. I don't want any critical analysis of anything I'm saying. Please just stop talking about me. Like when he jumped onto a panel to talk with me. Uh, to say that in spite of previous positions he's advocated for, actually, uh, 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 social workers are scarier than cops to people having mental breakdowns. No evidence provided, like nothing, just like he came to disagree. And then like he spent the remaining two hours of the panel just solemnly, silently, like just sitting there. Cause because the rest of the panel was Sardis asking questions like, how big of a dick would you suck if it belonged with your dad, okay? <laughs> That's all I doing. jump on panels literally all the time. Fuck, half the time I jump on panels, I'm not even fucking streaming. <laughs> what? He just wanted my attention for a bit. And that's it. You know? He mad. He's Vosh, uh, giga mad. The comment section are constantly bar bombarded by DGGers. Yeah, they paid like an obscene amount of attention to me, you know? Yeah, so obsessed he's risking Twitch TOS to cover me constantly on his Twitch channel. It's really We have a massive what does he is he pretending that we don't have like a massive overlap in fan bases? Is he just pretending that like we just have, I don't I don't know where the where the interest comes from? Like Okay, Chief. Dude, these things are not doing anything for me. Ah, this planet rotates so slowly. Oh it's alright, the other ones will pick up. They'll pick up, they'll pick up. Wait, real quick, did we say, um, because I know you guys all know the answer to this question. Oh, fuck, what was I going to ask? Oh, is the farther you're away from your Dyson Sphere, the less rays you receive from it? Is that true? Is it tidally locked? No, I don't believe any planet is tidally locked in this game. I hope not. Orbital radius is how long it takes to orbit. Orbital period. No. Orbital radius is how far out it is. The Literally the radius. Orbital period is how long it takes to complete an orbit. Rotation period is how long to, for night and day. Planet obliquity is equal to the angle between the equatorial plane and the revolution plane. Revolution plane. The planet obliquity is the main reason for the seasonal variation. This means that there will be seasons on the planet, right? There should be seasons on the planet. If rotation period equals orbital period, then it's totally like, okay. It will wobble. That's all we need to know. Okay. Weird. How would co-ops and government run businesses or related businesses like state universities and stuff. I don't know much about how schools should be run. There's a lot of really interesting stuff on that. I'm not that educated on it. Um, I know that the way schools are run right now uh, is a problem, but the specifics of how to run that are, are, are a bit different, you know. Um, True. Yeah. Based. Yeah, I'm everyone say hi, Destiny, because he's what, like, probably Salient. not 100%, probably likely to cover this. 100% are probably likely. Um, Which one is it? Vouch. Everybody say hi, Vouch. All right, does that cover everything? Fuck, every time I finish, there's more shit. Oh my god. Fuck! Thank you, Paul DSSB, for the gift of T1 subs of High Progressive. And Miss Snoozable, thank you for the very kind $20. If you were anti burning your bus during 2016 on YouTube, do you think you'd get the same hate as you did in 2020? Is Biden the problem or just non Bernie? I feel like I'd be even more disliked back then because Hillary Clinton is way less likable than Biden. Biden's like a funny old dude, you know? Hillary Clinton is like a detestable. Like, you don't even have to get into like anything she's done or any of her positions. She's just like imminently, immediately, intuitively a detestable person, you know? Jesus. Uh, just like in, in every respect. There are things about Biden that I legitimately like. I think he's a funny dude, you know? Challenging people to push ups or 
whatever, you know, I think he's a funny guy. I like that. Um, Hillary Clinton wouldn't challenge people to a push-up contest. Because Hillary's a bitch. Jesus! No shot. Vouch! <laughs> Slow your roll! <clears throat> maybe when this thing stops mining, maybe we'll be... my hands are cold. God damn it. <laughs> oh, wait, they're coming! <laughs> We're almost done, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see it. Hold on. Oh, I've said this before too, but No, where are they? If to cap it off, I've said that like Destiny's main issue is spite, and that's No! I, where did the gloves go? What did he did he wash his hands? What's he doing? My criticism won't update, you know. It's not an insult. Because insults are something that I have to vary so that they can stay interesting. But it's just the thing that he is, so it's gonna remain the case. Um put slippers on. But I think another thing that he is... Slipper? He said his hands were cold, so he's putting slippers on? No! <laughs> Watch, you're getting mixed up! What's happening? Um, is a reactionary in the sense that he's classist, which is worth bringing up. Everything from the just move thing, the idea that, like, people who complain about how high rent is when they live in big cities should just move elsewhere, even though big cities need people being paid wages for minimum wage jobs in order to survive, like... If all the people who paid more than one-third of their salary and rent in L.A. just left, L.A. would collapse, right? Based! How am I classes? Doc, you literally grew up in fucking Beverly Hills. You have a degree in sociology, okay? I had to flunk school because I was working full-time. How am I the classes one? Also, here's the silver bullet. Vouch says he doesn't consume my content anymore. Anybody care to explain this picture? Really makes you think. Hey, Lewis Rossman, congratulations on the Biden tweet today. We gave you 100% of the uh, credit for that.